Monster Mash Mini Review. They're staying outside. Scream if anybody comes, okay? But I'm not afraid of what's out here. I'm afraid of what's in there. I'll be in there with you. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey guys and ghouls, this is Ben from 80s Horse Central bringing you another mini review. And this time I got a rather obscure shot on video slasher, Phantom Brother, released in 1988. What a fucking mess! Yeah, it's like your room. Yeah, it does. Watch out! Come here, Rex! Rex! Don't worry. I'll protect you. I don't like icky things. Oh yeah? Then why'd you date stuff last semester? Oh, Richie. <laughs> The film follows a young man named Abel who lost his family in a car accident. His brother's ghost haunts their old family home and kills anyone who trespasses. Abel finds himself cleaning up after his phantom brother and his ghostly cohorts. A doctor from the insane asylum is on the case, and Abel begins to fall for a girl named Jill, whose friends were slaughtered by his brother. I made it up. Why did you make it up? Because Billy and me, we wanted to scare you. Why did you want to scare us? Because it's a well-known fact that fear is an emotion very close to sexual desire. What? I had to take psych class this semester. What do you think? I sleep through class like some people? I paid very close attention, especially to that part. Well, not close enough. SOV films are usually pretty bad. They're obviously cheap and can sometimes be exercises in bad filmmaking. There are a few SOB films I think are pretty cool. Films like Streets of Death and The Video Dead. Phantom Brother is another SOB film that I would recommend, and I find it to be an entertainingly fun horror comedy. Scare me, Richie. What? You know, like you said. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, there was these, uh, these two kids, mm -hmm. and they found this, this great place where they could be alone. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But unknown to them, there was this, this, this hideous monster hanging out underneath oh, the bed. Oh, uh -huh. Waiting, uh -huh. waiting, uh -huh. waiting to stray. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Phantom Brothers is a knowingly silly slasher that features clever dialogue and some genuinely funny moments. This is a film that was shot with tongue planted firmly in cheek. I was late. I had to stop to pick up some condoms, just in case. She wasn't there. I shook. I wondered if anything happened to her. Could I get my money back for the condoms? The cast is amateurish but likable, and the film has a decent body count for a low-budget affair. What helps elevate Phantom Brother above most SOV efforts is the solid cinematography and camera work. The effects are pretty hokey, but fun, helping add more silliness to the proceedings. There's a redneck family that adopts Abel, and the Phantom Brother seems to be obsessed with big tits. Together, aren't we? You can't go off on your own. Oh, don't give me that! You were the one who started it! Me? Yeah, poo poo head. you killed the first two! Yeah! That guy and the girl with the big ninny! Those big ninnies. <laughs> I want the little boy. <laughs> oh, I want the one with the big minis. <laughs> There's a loony bin doctor who loves Budweiser and tends to drink and drive. A lot. Look at this asshole wearing his sunglasses at night. Who's he think he is? Corey Hart? I'm Vinnie Van Damme. 
from the asylum. And I know you, Abel. I know all about you. You don't know anything. You're only guessing. Maybe. But then again, I'm a good guesser. <laughs> In conclusion, Phantom Brothers is a humorous, low-budget slasher that manages to create some laughs and has a nice self-referential tone. Plus, it's way better than films like Screen Dream and Cannibal Hookers. You're very nice. You're groovy. You're sweet. You're pretty. You're interesting. You're happening. You're bleeding. <laughs> you're observant. Oh, you're too kind. You're too kind, too. What an ugly bitch.